Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the Windows Update Error 0xe000003 on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, afterwards click on System on the left pane, and then on the right side scroll down until you find the Troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now click on Other Troubleshooters, and the last thing you have to do in here is click on the Run button next to Windows Update. Now wait until Windows will detect any issues and it will try to fix them as soon as possible. You can then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to run an SFC and DISM scan. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. And in here, in the command prompt window, make sure to type in the following commands or just copy-paste them from the description below, but press enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time, so don't lose patience. Afterwards, after the processes are finished, make sure to restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to start the Windows Update Service. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Services and select it as an application from the search results. And now in here, make sure to scroll down until you find the Windows Update Service, Double-click on it to open up its properties window and if the service status is set to stop, make sure to click on the start button to start the service. You can also choose to select the automatic option next to startup type, then click on apply and ok to save the changes, restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to delete the Windows Update cache. Now to do this, open up an instance of File Explorer then head over to your default C drive. Now in here scroll down until you find the Windows folder and double click on it to open it up. And in here scroll down until you find the software distribution folder. Double click on it, then head over to the download folder. And what you have to do is select all the folders in here, press shift and delete to delete them, and you're pretty much done. Then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.